Hi guys, welcome back to my amazing kitchen. My name is Abba. In today's video, I am sharing another simple fish recipe with you. We are making some oven grilled sea bream. So come along and let's get right into the video. I have here one big sea bream which is partially cleaned. I asked my fishmonger to clean it for me and they cut off the fins, they gutted it and they scaled it but as you can see it's not 100% clean. So next I'm going to go ahead and clean my fish thoroughly and then also use half a lemon to clean my fish until the fishy smell is all gone. So now that our fish is all cleaned up, let's go ahead and season our fish. But before we season it, I'm going to go ahead and make some incisions in my fish. The incisions will ensure deep penetration of the marinade we are about to smother this fish with. So do not skip this step. Once both sides of my fish is caught, I'm going to set it aside and move on with my marinade. For the marinade, I'll be using some red onion, some garlic, fresh ginger, some spring onion or scallions, some pointed red bell pepper, I'll be using some red jalapenos, red chili, just the regular red chili, and I'll also be using some scotch bonnet, and this was frozen so it still got some ice on it. I will also add some dried rosemary, fresh is even better but I don't have that. I'll be using some cilantro seeds, anise seed and some cloves. You can check out the description box down below for the list of ingredients and their correct measurements. Now all we have to do is to blend all our ingredients together. But I'm using my chopper because I don't want it to be super super smooth. But you can obviously use your blender if you prefer. Now I'm adding some oil to help my mixture blend well. Since my chopper is not that big, I'm going to blend this in batches and then combine everything together. Now I know this may seem like a lot of marinade for just one fish, but I'm also going to make a sauce out of this mixture. So once my second batch is done blending, I'm going to pour this into the first batch and then mix everything together. And you can see that the texture is not very very smooth. You can go ahead and use this marinade as is, but I want to deepen the flavor and take it to the next level. So in my frying pan here, I have added some more oil and I'm going to pour in my marinade. Now on a medium heat, I'm going to go ahead and fry my marinade until all the moisture has evaporated and the oil resurfaces on top of this. As you continue to fry your marinade, you will realize that the color changes from pale yellowish looking to a deepened reddish sauce. Now you can go ahead and add your salt and any other seasoning you may want to add. Once you are happy with the flavors of your sauce, you want to take it off your heat and use it on your fish. Scoop some of your sauce into a separate bowl so you don't keep touching the sauce back with the spoon you touch your raw fish with. You can use the remaining sauce as dipping sauce or as flavorings for your stews. I will be grilling my fish in a foil. So on the foil I have added my fish and I'm going to generously smother this fish with the marinade and make sure that it enters every corner of the fish. Notice I didn't add any extra salt or seasoning to the fish because the marinade is well flavored and salted enough to penetrate the fish. Definitely do not forget to season the belly as well because we want the fish to be flavorful everywhere. So meanwhile, I have been preheating my oven at 180 degrees Celsius. So once you are done marinating, you are going to go ahead and wrap the fish in your foil. But make sure to leave some room on top of it. Do not make it too tight. So since my fish is very big, I'm going to add an extra foil to wrap it in very well. 
If you have the time, you can allow this to sit for about 30 minutes before you pop it into your oven. But I don't have that time, so I'm going to go ahead and pop it right into my oven. Now I'm going to bake my fish for about 20 to 25 minutes. And this may differ depending on the size of your fish. So after about 25 minutes, I take out my fish and I'm going to open up my foil. And at this point, the fish is about 70 to 80% done. So what I'm going to do next is to add more of that yummy marinade. Now go ahead and spread the marinade all over your fish and pop it right back into the oven. But this time around, you want to leave the foil open and use your broiler setting for about 5 to 7 minutes. This last step will give you that charred look and taste we all want in our grilled fish. And there you have it, our super moist and delicious grilled sea bream. I truly hope that you are able to try this simple and amazingly delicious recipe because I know that you won't be disappointed. So until I come your way next time with another amazingly delicious recipe, please remember that cooking should always be fun and exciting. So bake this fish with love and see it radiate through the hearts of your family. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in my next video. Bye!